schools closed because of the coronavirus, playgrounds off limits, and kids alone at home. <laughs> For us, it's quite a rough go with the kids. No concerts, no theater, no exhibitions, and no job security. Of course, human life comes first. Berlin has all but shut down. Nobody knows for how long, maybe until summer. Zsa, Zsa and Bela Hansen get their kitchen in ship shape. They're home alone. Their parents have to work, and their school is closed. How is it with no school? Relaxed. Yeah, especially by studying. Now we can kid around. It's not as strict. It's laid back. But it'll go on like this for weeks, you know? Yeah, I think it's going to be interesting. The schools assigned plenty of homework. I've got a weekly syllabus with various assignments that have to be done over these days. And a regular curriculum listing the assignments that you're supposed to do. And they'll send us some more sheets with even more assignments on them. And you're keeping to the lesson plan? Yes, otherwise you can't keep up. It'd be too much all at once at the end. The first thing they learn is that this virus is no vacation for the world's school children. The pile of homework from school puts structure back into their day. But the forced break will last some time, at least five weeks, maybe even longer. Will you guys be fighting? Yeah. I don't think you can avoid it. If you're cooped up in a small space, like an apartment for so long, they'll always be fighting. I think after some time we'll try to stay out of each other's way when we don't feel like dealing with each other. I think I'll end up volunteering to go shopping a lot. Hanging around the apartment all day is a bummer. Berlin is not quite deserted yet. The last tourists are enjoying a very rare open view of the Brandenburg Gate. Hardly any of them are worried about the virus. I'm not very scared of it because uh, I always keep myself clean, wash my hands and I'll do all that because uh, I think people are panicking a bit much and we, we just need to be to stay calm and face the virus calmly. Now we can enjoy the good weather since it's pretty bright and warm, like not like usual. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I tend to go out with my friend while the weather is good. <laughs> Others believe they're in the wrong place at the wrong time. They have to change their plans. Well, they were to go and visit most of the museums and whatever, but everything's closed, so we're doing a lot more walking instead. <laughs> Are you afraid of the virus? No. It's, um, I think it's been blown out of all proportion, to be honest with you. It's just causing a lot of damage to a lot of businesses. One popular spot that's closed down is Berlin's famous SO36 club in the Kreuzberg district. Aside from cleaning up after the last concert, Nanette Feig and her co-workers have little else to do. What's the mood like on a job like this? It's sad, but it's clear that for now, we're closing everything down. Whether we'll open again and when is up in the air. We don't know. I can only describe the mood as fatalistic. The schnapps that we make in-house will be frozen, and the juices are free for everyone to take home. Anything that expires will go into private fridges. We have quite a lot of fruit sitting around. It all has to go. We'll be making a lot of lemon juice the next few days. Nothing will be thrown away, but it can't stay here. How's the mood? 
Uncertain. Nobody knows what happens next. Everyone's worried if they'll be able to keep their jobs. Concerts booked for the near future could have supported 30 employees. But with no income at all, the business won't last long. We've got enough reserves to last maybe one month. We've called for donations, and it's awesome. It's really heartwarming that we've already gotten so much attention, money too, but also lots of emails, a lot of people writing, I don't have that much myself, but here's five euros. Or another writes, here's ten, and I want you to keep going, hang in there. Jaja and Bela aren't alone now. Their dad, Paul Hansen, has come home from work. Bella, the pot hasn't been washed. It's a disaster. That's the only thing I forgot to do. Really? The only thing? Yeah. Well, I'll come around and check on you again. But of course, I think it's good for you to have everything under control. A home office won't work here. Paul is the head technician for a Berlin museum. It may be closed now like all the others, but Paul can't stay home and take care of the children. We technicians are always on site because, of course, we can't work from home. That makes no sense at all. We just spread out and sit in different offices. Isn't it hard for the family structure? It is hard. Erika and I both depend on the understanding of our employers. And then we can also plan our time really well. We're there for the kids in the morning, when it's time for their schoolwork. But yes, obviously, it's much harder to organize everything. The family tries to make the best of the situation and establish some kind of daily routine. But Paul isn't quite as relaxed as some of the tourists. You don't feel okay about going out. You have the feeling you're endangering others just by being out in public. Of course, you don't want to catch anything yourself. Peter Kowalewski would have little chance against the virus. He's pushing 80, seriously ill with cancer and a survivor of several operations. His lung capacity is severely limited. I'm afraid that there isn't anyone who's not afraid. But for me, that fear is well-founded, because my lungs are so damaged. They can't fight off disease like healthy lungs can. Peter Kowalewski has been seeing a physical therapist. The exercises he does keep him alive. But now his fitness studio is closed because of the virus. My lungs are damaged, and they can't grow back like a fingernail would. They just stay as they are. And if they aren't exercised, the effects of the operation on them start to worsen, or you just can't get your breath anymore. The former hydraulic engineer lives alone and has no family. He may be spared the risk of infection from relatives, but Peter Kowalewski has a large social circle. I'm a member of 10 associations altogether, most of them scientific. But the one association that's especially close to my heart is the one that I go on outings with, to go sightseeing to parks or museums or some other place. And if that were taken away, because I have to stay home, that'd be very bad. As if the virus and the danger were another reality, people gather in this park for another kind of exercise. Cloud hands. People, definitely more than five, meet and practice Qigong, the traditional Chinese meditation and training. The group's leader is Christian Janssen. Fly like a wild goose. He also works as a natural healer, but he's no longer allowed to see patients in his practice because of the risk of infection. This means that my work, my occupation has come to a halt. I'm hardly doing any massages anymore. Basically, my work has been reduced to zero. But until he and his group are ordered to stay home, Christian Janssen intends to carry on, but not in closed spaces. 
The courses I run in my practice space aren't taking place anymore either. They can't. I've tried to take them outside, just like this course is happening outside. This is fine with me, because with Qigong, I manage to clear my mind, and it keeps me fit too. At this moment, Corona can't affect me at all. We keep a distance to each other. We don't infect each other. So all this is okay by me. We're in fresh air, and we've been told very clearly that this is safer than closed spaces or standing in the checkout line at the supermarket and hoarding groceries. <laughs> All right, kids, how's it looking with today's assignments? Have you completed everything you had planned? Including the homework I handed out to you? How about cleaning and picking up? Zsa, Zsa and Bela's mother can't work from home either. She gets off work relatively late. She puts no stock whatsoever in the hoarding still going on. This is how our pantry looks. The basics, right? Right, we need to straighten this up. No extra amounts of anything. No, usually we buy groceries to last us a week. We go on one big shopping trip every week, and that ought to last us the rest of the week, depending on what fresh produce we need. I don't have the space for lots of provisions. I wouldn't know where to store it. Oh, who put the rice on? I did. The Hansen family has set up something like a daily routine. We try to be totally relaxed and laid back and easygoing to make the best of the situation. Why should I get upset? It doesn't help. It just makes you sick and vulnerable. You have to keep your immune system strong. That's why we're having stew. <laughs> In the evening, they sit on the balcony. Outings are ruled out for the near future, such as life in the days of the coronavirus. Corona. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.